Keeping the Lost Dog Lost Continued Chapter 3, Home at Last After I took down all the posters I could find, though, my happiness vanished. I knew someone else loved Barney, and I even knew her name from the poster, Carol Green. It was wrong to keep a lost dog lost, and I realized what I had to do. That night, my mom said, Mystery sure seems happy in this in his new home. His name is Barney, Mom, I said. Barney, she said. Are you changing his name? Then I told her the truth. Mom was upset with me at first, but she knew I'd only behaved that way because I loved Barney so much. Mom called the phone and brought on the poster, and we headed over to Carol Green's house. The minute we got out of the car, Mr. Green burst out of the house crying, Barney! Miss Green told us how it happened, that Barney got lost. He had been out of town for a month and had put Barney in a kennel, but somehow he escaped. He couldn't find me, Miss Green said to me, but I guess he found you. Then Miss Green surprised us. She told us she had to move out of state for a new job, and she wouldn't be able to take Barney with her. She announced, Julian, Julian, do you think Barney could live with you? She was blinking back tears, but she was smiling. I think that would make everyone very happy, Mom said. I grinned, and then Barney barked and wagged his tail. Apparently, he agreed.